Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Aaron. I've just recently started this channel, so be sure to hit that like button. And also, if you want, hit that subscribe button as I show off more of my collections I have collected over the years. And today, we are covering the outlaw Josie Jewel. And as you can see behind me, I own his away and his home jersey that he played with at the University of Iowa. So stay tuned for more exciting videos in the future. But for now, let's take a look at these jerseys. All right, starting off, we have Josie Jewell's home jersey for the Iowa Hawkeyes. As you are probably well aware, he wore number 43. Josie was a outside linebacker for the Hawkeyes from 2013 through 2017. As you know, the Hawkeyes wore this same style uh, uniforms, jerseys rather, from 2000, I believe, 14 on through 2017. Uh, and I'm and a little bit later in the video, I'll show the next kind of jerseys they switched to. But anyway, as you can tell, this kind of look a little in depth here. You got the Big Ten logo, the Tiger Hawk, the Nike emblem, the Big 43. Now, Josie wore number 42. As you will see right down here, size 42 plus 4 in length. Overall, this is a very kind of like stretchy jersey. We'll look here at the sides a little bit. We'll flip it over. Now, real quick, as you might be aware, before the NIL era took over, players were required, the university was required rather, to strip off the last name. Players could not sell that and make profit off their own jerseys, the university, thus making the university have to remove the, the nameplates on the back. So that's kind of why the story of that is why his last name is not on the jersey. Now, how I got this jersey is I had a connection in Iowa City. He bought this jersey from the university. As you might know, the university does auction off his jerseys. The, if they switch to a new style, a new Nike style jersey, they'll end up auctioning off the old ones. Now, how I got this in the, in the away jersey is the University of Iowa had a special auction. And I want to say it was for the children's hospitals there. And I ended up buying this off the guy who won the auction. Now, as you kind of see here, through the this was his home jersey. And next, we're going to go to the away jersey. All right, so next we have Josie Jewell's away jersey, his row jersey from the University of Iowa. Um, this jersey has a lot more, uh, some more scars, some more uh, wear and fatigue to it versus a home jersey. They really cleaned up the home jersey for the auction. Here, not as much. So you can see some markings there. There's some more markings on the front. Just want to show the back real quick. Show the sides. You can see some markings right there. Kind of like the sleeve situation here. Kind of what the jerseys look like on the inside. Very soft fabric. You can really tell that Nike puts a lot of its technology, a lot of pride in making these jerseys. Um, same thing here, Big Ten logo, the Tiger Hawk, the Nike emblem. You can see the Nike emblem starting to rip apart there. We got a little tear right there. Uh, same thing as for size, size 42. We'll go down here and match that size 42 plus 4 in length. In case you're ever wondering what size Josie Jewel wore in his jerseys. See right down here. So yeah, this is the uh, jersey that Josie Jewell wore in 2013. Well, I believe they started wearing these in 2015 through 17, if I'm not mistaken. Now, some facts about Josie Jewell as we kind of look through his jerseys. In 2015 was the magical year when the Hawkeyes uh, went undefeated as I grab his home jersey kind of contrast and compare here 2015 is when the Hawkeyes went 12 and 0 it was that magical run we had and these jerseys were worn by Josie Jewell at that time 
there was another number 43. However, he never saw uh, field action. He was a freshman at the time. But I could verify these came from the University of Iowa and their Josie Jules. Other stats is in 2015, he led the Big Ten with 136 tackles, which ranked fourth nationally. And his senior year in 2017, he won the Lot Impact Award for Best Linebacker. And as you are aware by now, he was selected in the fourth round by the Denver Broncos. He was 109th overall in the NFL draft, and he is still playing as of today. So these are Josie Jewell's home and away jerseys. Uh, next, I want to show some other jerseys uh, throughout the years uh, from the University of Iowa and how they are different. All right. This is the current uh, jersey style that the Hawkeyes wear in 2023. As you notice, it's a little different from the last ones we saw. Here you can see the, like the collar is a little different. Still got the Tiger Hawk, the Big Ten logo, and the Nike emblem. This is a size 46, by the way. And you see down here, it's a lot more mesh here compared to the other ones. But up here, it's a lot more different. Um, I would say the sleeves here are a little bit more wider, more expandable than maybe the other older Nike versions. All right, let's turn this around. I do not know who wore this jersey. I need to research that. But otherwise, you could tell, you can see the back has been ripped off, the name tag rather. It's got some wear from play, as you could tell. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a difference. Um, on the bottom half, a little bit more mesh here, more breathing room for the players. And up here, kind of see this going on here, different kind of threading. All right. And next. All right, so from 2013 through 2014, I believe the Hawkeyes used this kind of style of jersey. Now, you'll notice a lot of similarities to the Josie Jules jerseys. But this one is different in the collar. Here, if I'm zooming a little closely, seems a little more ragged around the collar. And if you notice the tiger hawk, they have like the shield little threading on it on the tiger hawk. The older or the newer version did not have this. So there is a little bit of a difference. This one is number two. Otherwise, I mean the bottom, the middle looks the same. I think they just changed the collar from over the year uh, as they moved on from the next year. And uh, same thing on the bottom, on the side, remove the nameplate, all that. A little bit messier here. This is a size 38 and number two wore this. Lastly, my last jersey I have is an older Iowa away jersey. Um, some difference you could tell right away, like the whole front and bottom, all mesh. Now I'll say like this mesh feels a lot more softer than the newer jerseys. These are what the sleeves look like. And I definitely would say that the, the yellow here on the striping was a lot more lighter than the newer colors. Uh, the newer colors throughout the years were a little bit darker yellow. That's what the collar looked like. All right, still got the Nike emblem. Now before this, this, uh, this was uh, the older Hawkeye jerseys rather were not stitched with numbering back then it was just all like that like that shiny texture but this was I believe one of the first years the Hawkeyes used stitched in their lettering all right let's take a look and numbering too in the back we do not have the name plate but we do have this and this kind of what it looks like on the bottom all right, we just same thing here with the sleeves. Look in here real quick. Now on the bottom, back then, the NCAA had me, uh, small, medium, large, XL, or 2XL. There wasn't like what they have today were like size 40, 44, 48, 52. So this is a little bit of an old school jersey. Um, got this, 
maybe 12 years ago. So you see you got some stains. Not sure what that is, but yeah, that's what an older jersey from the Hawkeyes looks like. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch my Hawkeye jersey collection. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment um, and hit that subscribe button. I read every comments and I do appreciate your guys' time.